Perhaps you've had this experience where you've done an incredible photo shoot only to look on your computer and see, oh no, I have things that are a little bit out of perspective. I don't have lines that are true. I have people on the edges that are warped. Architectural photographers see this a lot, but it happens for every style of photography problems with your lens distorting things in the photo. Those problems need to be fixed. And in this tutorial, we're gonna use Viewpoint to fix any lens issue imaginable. I'm Mark Wallace, I'm a travel and portrait photographer, and I've been an educator online for about the last 15 years. In this class, we are going to look at how we can solve any kind of optical or geometric problem in our image, as well as adding special effects to create shallow depth of field and emulate a tilt shift lens. There are two major issues that we face as photographers. Problems with our lens, optical distortion, wide angle lenses that push things out at the edges, and our viewpoint, how we're shooting things with vertical lines. Sometimes we're too low or too high. We need to correct both of those issues and viewpoint will allow us to do just that. We're going to begin by understanding the different types of distortion in our images and how to correct each one of those one at a time. And then we'll move on to perspective issues Issues, making sure everything is vertical and square in our image. I want to use this. This is the eight point tool. Now I can uh, control the horizontal lines and the vertical lines independent of each other to help find better reference points. Let me show you what I mean. And there we go. Now that is correct. And I'll turn the crop back to auto. Let's apply that. And now you can see that things are in perspective. I can turn on the grid. You can see all these horizontals are correct. These verticals are correct. The reshape tool is an advanced tool that allows you to go in and target specific areas of your image and correct just those parts. Instead of correcting all of the deformation in an entire image, we can just fix a rooftop or a sideline or a cable or enhance images in an artistic way. I wanna show you one more thing and that is using Viewpoint inside of Photolab. It's a dramatic difference because all of the edits are non-destructive. Let me show you what I mean. It's two weeks later, okay, no problem. I can go into the reshape tool and then I can make it really, really flowy like the client wants and do whatever I want, make it go off the screen. You get the idea, there's before and after big huge difference. I love playing with the miniature effect tool. I can move my depth of field to focus my viewer's attention to a very specific part of the image. And I can use the advanced tools to get a real life bokeh that you would actually see with a tilt shift lens. Now it's worth mentioning here that the bokeh, the out of focus areas that are caused by this blurring right here, this is true bokeh. If we go to nine blades, you can see that we actually see nine blades there. Um, if we go to circular, notice that circular. This class is hands on. I've included every file that I'm working on so you, you can follow along with me. software is incredibly advanced, but also incredibly easy to use. By the end of this class, you'll have all the skills you need to fully use Viewpoint. This is software that's totally changed the way I edit my images, and I have full confidence that it's gonna do the same for you.